Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. Some of the subscribers to my YouTube channel have told me recently that when I'm using my mobile phone to create content, that the overall lighting and audio quality is low. So one of my friends actually got me a hookup. They sent me up here with a social media creation kit. This is the ultimate vlog studio from a company called Mercury Innovations. Now I've never heard of this company before. I've never even used one of these before, but I'm super excited to find out if something like this can help me create better quality content on a mobile device. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside and see if it can help me out. Let's get to it. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So here we have the Ultimate Vlog Studio from Mercury Innovations. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside. So it looks like underneath here is the instructions and put them aside for now. Okay. So it looks like we have a tripod. Looks to be pretty decent quality here. It's all plastic with just a metal at the top, obviously. You can loosen, adjust the uh, pivot point of the device it's holding, which is pretty useful. It's got the usual feet. Ah, the feet actually extend all the way out. That's actually pretty nice because then you can have it more of a low set thing. I like that actually, that's pretty good. So, it's okay, I'm gonna put this aside. We have a microphone here, and it looks like the microphone, the top can, the cover can come off. And they've got another one here, it looks like a, a windscreen, a rabbit windscreen. Yeah, okay, it's definitely a windscreen for the microphone. That's pretty nice. You can go ahead and put this guy on here. There we go. I like that actually, it's pretty good. Looks like the microphone is a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter uh, connection so you know mini RCA that's okay though actually goes back in here yep that's pretty good so let's go ahead and put this aside here we've got the boom arm so that looks like it can connect directly to the tripod and then the looks like the microphone okay I see you take this ah I see okay the microphone actually slides in like this and then you can tighten it down Just like that. Okay, it comes with a light here. It feels pretty light. It looks like we need batteries for it. Yeah, okay, it takes two AA batteries for the LED light. And there's a brightness setting here. That's pretty good. And it looks like the light, same deal. We'll just have to loosen this. The light will just go ahead and slide in up here. Okay, so there is the Bluetooth remote here and the phone mount. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the, uh, this mounted on to the tripod here, which looks pretty easy.
and it looks like the phone mount. I'm going to go ahead and put it horizontal because I'm going to do most of my recordings that way. And it looks like if we loosen this, we can slide the whole assembly. So I'll probably put it just like right here. Okay. Looks like it also comes with another speaker cable for the microphone. This one will definitely be long enough. I need to uh, actually, yeah, I may actually go ahead and change it to the longer one, depending on which way I put the phone in. Not that it really matters, but it probably makes sense to put the phone in uh, with the record button to the outside. So we go ahead and stick this back in the back here. And then this will go ahead and run over to our phone. Now I'll probably have to get a um, mini RCA to lightning cable adapter. I have actually a couple of them laying around. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and just put this down here. Move this, this to the side. So the Bluetooth remote looks pretty straightforward take pictures with Apple camera 360 iOS and that says Android on it so I'll have to try out both of these buttons and see what they actually do on this particular device or the instructions might actually tell me too if I bothered to read them <laughs> so I'm liking this a lot um, this looks like it might actually help me out with my overall quality issues that I have when I record from an Apple iPhone. Obviously the lighting is always a little bit funky and the audio is a little bit distorted just because of the nature of the microphone that an Apple iPhone has in it. It's not the greatest. Looks like this comes with a battery. Just pulled that out, probably activated the battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put that down. So here is the Ultimate Vlog Studio. We've got the LED light, the microphone with the rabbit windscreen, the phone holder, and the tripod. Overall, the quality seems okay. Um, this is actually metal, which is nice. This is a good plastic grip here. So if I actually take the tripod off, I can hold it with just the grip, which is pretty nice. Um, I'd be curious to see how the content quality is with the microphone here as compared to the iPhone 11. So I'm going to have to do some testing with that. And overall, just examine, you know, how durable it is, how well the light works, and all of that stuff. I'll have to get some batteries for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the setup of this, and we'll try it out with my iPhone 11. So be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So I've gone ahead here and mounted my phone inside of the Ultimate Vlog Studio kit. And it was very simple to do. Literally just pull this cell phone clip up, slide your phone in, and just release it. And it locks it into place. The LED light is really nice on this thing. Right now I've got it on not even the max setting. And it's definitely lit up my face pretty comfortably. Um, definitely I can see some additional brightness and textures and detail that I didn't before without one. So I don't really like that a lot because filming in my office here, where I do the majority of my filming, it can be pretty dark. So, cause I only have two small lights in this room. So having this LED light is definitely great. It does take two AA batteries. So again, if you're going on a trip somewhere, you need to make sure you bring extra batteries with you because it'll probably suck up the batteries pretty quick. Um, the microphone is really nice. I'm actually talking through it right now. So I had to connect it to my iPhone with the provided cable, but I needed to use a 3.5 millimeter to lightning cable adapter. They're available on Amazon, the Apple store, 
anywhere you need one because remember the Apple iPhones do not have an audio jack anymore. So you need one if you wanna use this particular microphone. The overall quality of this kit is very nice. The metal boom and the holding arm is great. It's not plastic. That's really cool. Um, there's this nice rubberized grip around it and my hand has been sitting comfortably here since I've been filming this video. The tripod is pretty nice. Um, it, it is mostly plastic, but there is a nice metal ball that's the pivot point for the top and the rest of it for the top is pretty good. Um, it's not plastic and it locks into place perfectly. So when you sit it down, it holds up everything and you don't have to risk it falling over. I have a couple other of these little mini tripods and my phone always just falls over because of the weight in it. In fact, I think if you watch my one video when I was on the beach, you actually see it fall over. And that's because it couldn't hold the weight at the pivot point of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, so overall, I highly recommend this kit if you're making uh, YouTube content or any kind of content for that matter where you want to be able to put your phone in something, get some additional lighting and some additional um, audio quality. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out in future videos. So if anyone has any questions, comments, or concerns, please, as usual, drop a comment on this video, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see everyone soon. Thanks, everybody.